Welcome everyone. This is Kathy Bartoli from the intimacydojo.com and we're here with Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. Mm -hmm. Is it the intimacydojo.com? The, the, the intimacydojo. Was intimacydojo.com taken? It was taken. Oh. I Did think, I take it? I think you took it. Sorry. <laughs> wow. That's, that's not that's my cool. No, it wasn't. It's like, horrible. It's Why don't you just ask? Well, this is not about that. We'll talk about this later. Shh, just ask me. <laughs> I did. All right. Oh. <laughs> Yes, next question. Online dating. <laughs> Change the subject. So, Reed, what could you put in your ad? If you're looking for other sex geeks or lovers, you're not looking necessarily to get married. And mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of people that want to get married and have kids. And there's people out there that just want to have, they want to meet other really cool people and be able to talk about sex and talk about intimacy and have lovers. They don't, mm -hmm. what can you put in your ad to identify them and draw them out? Okay, well, I mean, so it's a good question. So if you're looking for geeks, mm -hmm. um, what I call sex geeks, like people that are interested in talking about sex, relationships, intimacy, um, that they're, you know, they get excited about that. It's not like you're on a date with somebody who's like, do we have to talk about communication? You're like, no, like, let's yeah. rock that. Um, I mean, again, like you're kind of creating kind of a vetting question mm -hmm. um, and you're letting people know that this is what you're looking for. And sex geeks or people that are up for that challenge, mm -hmm. right? Like budding sex geeks, yeah. like white belt sex geeks, <laughs> um, beginner sex geeks, they'll know, like they'll, they'll get it. Um, so like what I would probably do is say, you know, you know, looking for sex geeks and people who love processing and talking about emotions and brain chemistry and whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, please list your favorite three books on sex, that's relationships, great. intimacy. Yeah, that's wonderful. You know, because then, again, like we did in the, in the other uh, video about online dating, you've created this interesting hoop for people to jump through or this, this marker for them to meet. If they, in the first couple of paragraphs in their reply, if they don't mention the books, right. or if they don't mention the books at all, like if you can scan the email, if they don't mention it, then you know they weren't paying attention. Right. So now you're about to maybe start emailing back and forth with somebody who doesn't pay attention. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you're looking for a level of, of cognizance and, and, and cognitive ability. Um, and then, you know, you're asking them to, to recommend either, you know, three books or three movies um, or, you know, three tidbits mm -hmm. for them to share with you to start the conversation back and forth. It yeah. makes it an easy conversation. If you ask for something like that and they say the five love languages, for example, mm -hmm. and you you read it and you really love it, you have something, you know, what's your love language? You, you've already opened a dialogue and started to get to know the person. Yeah, the exactly. And then, and then if they, you know, another kind of answer would be, wow, like, I think I'm a sex geek, but I haven't really read anything or gone to any workshops. At least then you know that the person's paying attention, mm -hmm. um, that they're interested in what you're interested in, but that they don't have any experience. Like they're really a super beginner. Mm -hmm. And then you can decide whether you take on rookies, you know, or if you're looking for, for veterans. Um, and, they, and, and that can empower you to, to use that kind of approach as an assessment tool. Yeah. And even if you don't date them, you might make some really great friends. Oh my God, yeah. Like, just because they're not the person, like, for you, dating-wise, if you're looking for this kind of community, like the kind of people that show up for the, the Intimacy Dojo, .com, um, <laughs> then you, these people are also resources for you to expand your social network. Like, you're actually building community, and community is going to pay off in the long run lo more than you tossing everybody away who's not dateable. Yes. Um, now, of course, like don't put up with jerks or people that really rub you the wrong way. But ultimately what you're looking for is, is a, little, a little pod of you know, sex geek dolphins so for you to go swimming with. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. Hmm? Yeah, good luck.